Washington CDL practice test. Question 1. What action should you do before driving while drowsy? Open your vehicle winds for some fresh air. Drink a cup of coffee. Pull off the road and get some sleep. Drink energy drinks. Answer. Pull off the road and get some sleep. Question 2. If you double your speed, how much more distance will it take to stop? Five times as much. Twice as much. Four times as much. Three times as much. Answer. Four times as much. Question 3. Where should you place your warning devices, if you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway? 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. 100 feet, 200 feet, and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 4 It has just reached freezing. Which of the following areas is slippery? A shaded area. A bridge. When looking road. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 5. Which two special conditions indicate that you should downshift? Starting down a hill and finishing a curve. Starting up a hill and finishing a curve. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Starting up a hill and entering a curve. Answer. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Question 6. Which of the following is most likely to get stuck on raised railroad crossings? A single axle tractor making a return journey empty. A low slung car carrier. A single axle tractor pulling a regular trailer. An empty moving van. Answer. A low slung car carrier. Question 7. Do empty trucks have the best braking? No. Yes, but only on wet surfaces. Yes, but only if the truck is newer than 1998. Yes. Answer. No. Question 8. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Release the clutch. Push in the clutch and shift into higher gear at the same time. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Release the clutch and press the accelerator at the same time. Answer Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Question 9. Which of the following is not something you should check during a trip? Tires Cargo and cargo covers Text messages. Mirrors. Answer. Text messages.
Question 10. How often must you stop to check your cargo while on the road? Within the first 50 miles. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. After each break you take while you're driving. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 11. The minimum tire tread depth for front tires is? One half inch depth. Three eighths inch depth. One thirty second inch depth. Four thirty seconds inch depth. Answer. Four thirty seconds inch depth. Question 12. What constitutes a hazardous materials placard? Signs that warn the public to stay at least 1,000 feet away from the vehicle. Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Signs that help tax collectors determine how much to tax a hazardous cargo. Signs on the inside of the vehicle that remind the driver what he is carrying. Answer Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Question 13. What's the definition of a hazard? Something you can easily avoid. Something you must stop for. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Something you can safely ignore. Answer A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Question 14. How many tie downs are required for a 20 foot load? Three tie downs. Two tie e downs. Four tie e downs. One tie e down. Answer. Two tie e downs. Question 15. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Be aware that a tire has failed. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Hold the steering wheel firmly. Stay off the brake pedal. Answer. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Question 16. Which of the following is the new section of the score criteria for crossing railroad tracks? If possible, get into the furthest right lane before you reach the tracks. Do not break or stop on the tracks. Do not change gears while on the tracks. Make sure you slow down, then brake smoothly. Answer If possible, get into the furthest right lane before you reach the tracks. Question 17. If you are traveling at 55 miles per hour in a 30-foot vehicle, you should leave how many seconds of following distance? 6 seconds 4 seconds 7 seconds 3 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 18. An anti-lock braking system will Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. Increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power. Shorten your stopping distance. Let you drive faster. Answer Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard. 
Question 19, you should inspect wheel bearing seals for Leaking Twisted axles Broken leaf springs Tears Answer Leaking Question 20. Which of the following determines the safe speed for going down a steep downgrade? The steepness of the grade. The total weight of the vehicle and cargo. The road conditions. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 21. What is the gross vehicle weight, GVW? A vehicle's maximum weight rating, specific by its manufacturer. The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. The total weight that includes the vehicle, towed vehicles, and the load. All of the above. Answer. The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. Question 22. Retarders keep you from skidding on the road because They give you more control over your brakes. They help reduce your reaction distance. They don't. You skid more easily with retarders. They help you control your speed. Answer. They don't. You skid more easily with retarders. Question 23. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? It will cool them down. You will be able to continue your journey sooner. This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. It has no effect at all. Answer This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 24. What will help a drunk sober up? A glass of water. Coffee. Time. Fresh air. Answer. Time. Question 25. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Get one-fourth closer to the car in front of you, then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by four for following distance. Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appeared to reach it. Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Answer. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 26. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? You might damage your leaf springs. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. Someone might try to pass you, on your left. All of the above. Answer. Someone might try to pass you, on your right. Question 27. Which of these are you not responsible for it when it comes to your cargo? Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Inspecting the cargo. Recognizing possible overloads. 
making sure that cargo is properly secured. Answer Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Question 28. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. Answer If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Question 29. How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? 14 seconds. More than 15 seconds. 10 seconds. More than 30 seconds. Answer. More than 15 seconds. Question 30. Starting the engine and inspecting the cab involves each of these tasks, except Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral. Checking the air pressure gauge. Checking the transmission controls. Starting the engine, then listening for unusual noises. Answer Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral. Question 31. Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? If you can safely do it, call the police from a cell phone. Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. Avoid eye contact. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 32. How many hours of sleep does the average person need per night, or risk accumulating sleep debt? Six to seven hours. Six to eight hours. Seven to eight hours. Eight to nine hours. Answer. Seven to eight hours. Question 33. You should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because Someone could steal the truck. Someone could start and move the truck. It could damage the starting mechanism. All of the above. Answer. Someone could start and move the truck. Question 34. Always try to back toward the driver's side because You can see better, watching the vehicle rear out the side window. It's more comfortable for turning your neck. Your truck will naturally pull toward the driver's side. All of the above. Answer. You can see better. Watching the vehicle rear out the side window. Question 35. Which of the following should you not do to prepare for the backing section of your Washington CDL exam? Practice as often as possible within the confines of your instruction permit. Practice backing at a Washington.exam site before your exam. Practice in places that you feel accurately simulate the test conditions you'll be facing. Make sure you practice with licensed CDL drivers who can help you with your technique and share their expertise. Answer 
practice backing at a Washington.exam site before your exam. Question 36. Which of the following can you not use a BC fire extinguisher on? Wood. Grease fire. Gasoline fire. Electrical fire. Answer. Wood. Question 37. Which of the following is the key steering component? Torque rod. Leaf spring. Gearbox. Bearing plate. Answer. Gearbox. Question 38. During your pre-trip test, when examining hoses with the instructor, you need to look for Low windshield washer fluid level The location of the dipstick Puddles on the ground Phrase in the water pump belt Answer Puddles on the ground Question 39. Is it true that as long as the engine is not overheated, it is completely safe to remove the radiator cap? Yes, as long as there is no overflow. Yes, as long as the radiator isn't damaged. No. Yes. Answer. No. Question 40. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Put on the parking brake whenever necessary. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the hand valve. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 41. Why is it important to use a helper when backing? Because you have blind spots. Because you are providing a job for someone else. Because people feel more comfortable when you do. All of the above. Answer. Because you have blind spots. Question 42. Signs of distracted drivers include Drivers having conversations with passengers Vehicles exiting the roadway Individuals listening to music too loudly Individuals driving at a consistent speed above the speed limit Answer Drivers having conversations with passengers. Question 43. How far ahead should drivers look while driving, according to the manual? 12 to 15 seconds. 10 to 12 seconds. 5 to 10 seconds. 7 to 12 seconds. Answer. 12 to 15 seconds. Question 44. Total stopping distance is a combination of Reaction distance plus braking distance Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance Braking distance plus stopping distance Reaction distance plus viewing distance plus braking distance. Answer. Perception distance plus reaction distance plus braking distance. Question 45. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with ABS? Check for yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. 
Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. Check if your vehicle was manufactured after March 1, 1998, they are required to have the panel light. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 46. Why should you cover cargo? To protect individuals from any spilled cargo. To protect your cargo from bad weather. Because many states require it. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 47. The most important hand signal you should agree on with a helper is. Stop. Go. Turn up the music. Faster. Answer. Stop. Question 48. What is not one of the four skill areas that operating a commercial vehicle requires? Accelerating. Safely backing. First aid certification. Steering. Answer. First aid certification. Question 49. While driving at night, which beams should you use as often as you can? High beams. Low beams. Novelty lights. Emergency flashers. Answer. High beams. Question 50. Which of the following causes vehicle fires? Spilled fuel cleaned up quickly and properly. Short circuits and loose connections. Driver smoking in a rest area. Flammable cargo with proper ventilation. Answer. Short circuits and loose connections. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.